Many of you know that you can insert a multiple choice question which allows the respondent to pick only one of the options shown. However, what if you have a question where the options are so many and varied that they would make it a very long form? That's where a drop down question is handy. So if I click my question, and uh, so my cursor is here, I know where my cursor is, click add question, and I'm going to change this to a drop down type. Now what it will look like is very familiar in that a lot of times we see these when we have to choose our country from a long country drop down list. If you had to show every one of these on the page, it would be a very long web page. So that's why it's nice to have it collapsed all in one small little drop down list. So the drop down here, you can start to add your questions um, or sorry, your, your answer types. So I'll just for the sake, I'll call this A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and I'll just add quite a few here so that you get the idea. All right, so I've added 16 options. There is no option to add other on the drop down list like there was on the, um, on the multiple choice option here. So you do have to have options that somebody has to pick from the existing list. They cannot add their own option at the, uh, at the other area. So now as a quick review, um, I can preview my form. And right here, there was how the drop-down list would appear. Okay. Now I haven't surrounded it with any additional text, but that is the drop-down itself. All right, so back behind the scenes, you know, choose your favorite letter and so on. Okay, you can add an image to the question type. Notice that in a drop down, there is no option to add an image to the individual choices. That makes sense because there's no way they could fit that image in, um, in that actual drop down list here. But it is nice. And then um, you can rearrange just as you've seen before. So that's all very similar. And you can duplicate, delete, require it. In this right here, as always, you can add a further description to the question. And then you can, as you've seen in other multiple choice questions, you can create subsections of the form where say if somebody chose N as their favorite letter they would then be taken to a subsection of the form dealing with all things that relate to the letter N and so on. There is an option to shuffle the letters that's kind of nice if you're building a quiz and you don't want the same students to see the same answers as their neighbor but that is the basic setup of a drop-down question type.